Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Turn to 2 Timothy 2, verse 1. The memory verse that we have for today is 3 4. This is our memory verse by the pond. It's one of the memory verses I have on my, uh, um, my cue cards that I make. And you walk around, I always encourage you to make a, a set of cards that are memory, like flashcards, that are memory verses. And remember, it's not just about memorizing them up here. It's about putting them down here. And this one goes along with our teachings that we've been doing lately about the cares of this world coming in and uh, making a Christian, a Bible-believing, God-fearing man or woman, less fruitful, the Word of God being less fruitful in your life. Let's go ahead and start in verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. He's writing to Timothy, a man in ministry. Verse 2, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Verse 3, So he's saying, To you, Timothy, teach it to other men. This whole thing about you know mentorship, it needs to be there, and it's not there today in the body of Christ. All right? But you have Paul mentoring to Timothy, and he's saying, Timothy, someday you're going to have to mentor to other men too. So, verse 3, are the memory verse. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Okay? No man warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Entangle? Remember we read about the sower, about the seed that uh, falls along the, the weeds, the thorns grow up and choke the word? says here about not getting entangled himself with the affairs of this life. Okay, this is a memory verse. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You're going to have to endure hardness. Okay, you're going to have to be careful not to let this world get to you. Distract you from uh, keeping your eyes on Jesus Christ and living for him every day. It says no man warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life. If you're going to war, good warfare, and stand for the Lord and live for the Lord, you can't do that and be worried about what's going on in this world. This wicked world is falling apart. There's nothing wrong with looking in the Bible and looking at this world and saying, hey, the Bible has this world's number. God prophesied all this stuff that's going on out there. He said it's going to happen. It's a very windy day today. <laughs> he said it's going to happen. But you don't want that world to distract you. Okay? You don't want to get in there and go, okay, I'm going to fight this. I'm going to make the world live according to the Word of God. You ain't going to be able to do that. Don't entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. Okay? Okay, why? So you can please Him who hath chosen you to be a soldier. You want to please God? This is where your focus needs to be. In your life. Is this the foundation in all matters of faith and practice? How you live your life. Okay, that's where you need to focus your life, are you living for Jesus Christ. If the day comes and you have to die for Jesus Christ, then physically die, then you're willing to do it. And you're ready, and you need to work to be ready to do it, but you need to be willing to do it. That's there. But don't get entangled with the affairs of this world. All this baloney sandwiches and all this junk that's out there, warn people, warn people about sin, that they are sick, and that sickness is sin. And that they need a cure, they need a savior, they need Jesus Christ. Okay, warn them about stuff that could physically harm them and kill them. Spiritual warning, physical warning. But if they don't want to listen, let them alone. They blind, they be blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. Let them alone. Okay, I'll read it again. Because that's how you help. That's how you get it memorized. You got to read it over and over and keep applying it to your life. Thou endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Today, another way of enduring hardness is isolation. You're gonna have to isolate yourself from this world, this wicked world, and you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to live alone. It might be just you, brother. It might be just you, sister. It might be a brother and sister in Christ. Okay. But you guys are going to feel isolated. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. 
No man that warreth entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. I'll end this with this. What's the purpose of life? What's the purpose of life? You have people that get all theological and they'll talk about this and this. They'll beat around the bush. They'll talk for hours and hours and hours. What's the purpose of life? Well, for thou, the Bible talks about Jesus Christ, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. What's the purpose of life? To please God. What did we just read there? That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. The only way you're going to be able to please God is if you're separate from this world. If you start getting back into the world, whether it's worrying about what's going on in the world, or sin, you know, uh, cares of this world, deceitfulness of riches, and lust of other things, lust of other things, sin. If you start getting back to where you start looking like the world, acting like the world, talking like the world, you're entangling yourself with this world. And you know what? You'll never be able to please God. Romans chapter 8 talks about it. Okay? About they that are in the flesh cannot please God. You're, you go from being carnally minded, walking after the flesh, to being spiritually minded, walking after the spirit. And when you try to start resurrecting the old man, when it comes to the world, and the affairs of this world, oh, we can compromise and, and this. And you, The Bible says we're not to love the world. It says, love not the world, neither things in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Well, you know, and you start getting entangled with the world, with the affairs of this life. The Bible says, um, the adulterers and the adulteresses, Good breeze right there. Ye adulteresses and adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not the friendship of the world is enmity against God? Whosoever therefore shall be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Well, we can be a little bit a friend of the world and talk about the ways of the world. You start entangling yourself in the affairs of this life and you stop pleasing God. You're not warring a good warfare anymore. When you get when you fall into the trap of the cares of this world, deceitfulness of riches and lusts of other things. The world's going this way, a Christian, brother and sister in Christ, you and me, we're going this way because that's the way the Lord told us to go. Okay, the world's going this way, or it's going that way. It's going. I'm just pointing all these different directions. The Bible says narrow is the path. One path. We're going one direction, and we're all supposed to be going that direction, brother and sister in Christ. We're all supposed to be of one mind, one body. We're going one direction, and you need to keep going that direction. And the world is always going to be going the opposite direction. It's always going to be going contrary to Scripture. So that's a memory verse that we need to have memorized. It says, Thou endure, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Okay? Uh, some days I'm good at memorization. Some days the Lord's I have to read the card and read the card. There's nothing wrong with that, brothers and sisters Christ. It's just, you've got to read these verses. Hide them in your heart. Lord, am I pleasing you? Or am I falling back into the world? Am I starting to compromise? Don't do it, brothers and sisters of Christ. So, Bible by the pond. Get this verse memorized and hide it in your heart. This plaque right here says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Once again, I want to thank the brethren Christ that made this bench for me. Uh, it's a bench from my childhood. My uncle was a brother in Christ. Put this bench back together. Um, the wood was all new. But the metal frame, is, uh, he had to scrape it, spray paint it, and uh, he put the plaque on there. Remember, that word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That's why we're doing these memory verses. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.